All right, talk about uh, what's going on today, what we're doing. We've got a little bit of a walk, a uh, little bit through the walk. But I'm going to be doing some fly fishing, and I'm going to be throwing a couple different flies. I'm going to start with the weighted line, and uh, I'm going to fish around the rocks. I was out the other day uh, with bait, and we had some nice flukes. And they were in very close, and uh, keeper in the mix. So I think they might be starting to push closer in. So I want to try to get at an advantageous point with the fly rod and uh, see if we can pick out a fluke. But here's one of the nicer fish, fluke summer flounder from the other day. Uh, Danielle picked this one out. She had a bunch of others. Really great day. And uh, well, I'm going to get going. Uh, I'm going to walk and I'll see you out there. Look how low that helicopter is. Wow. It's like almost like they're coming to say hi. Is there someone on the outside? That was pretty cool. Right? Looks big. Might be a fluke because they sometimes they glide in. Easy. The big ones. So sometimes they glide in and they go sideways and then you feel them. Be a Jagunda fluke. Get in and that's a big fluke. That's a, that's a big one. That's a keeper. You gotta be like nine. It's gotta be 19 inches. Big one. It's a nice size one. Close to 19. Mm -hmm. Nice. Huh? Big one. me up.
journal. Yeah. Made a mess of that. Oh, the sea robin. I'm gonna have one of them in a little bit. I got started today using um, a floating line, which is just fine, but I think in this here, uh, it's a little windy out, but I, so I think that the flies may play better, deeper, hold longer. So I'm going to try a full sinking line. And I started with a floating line for a little bit. I'm definitely going to go try that sinking. Later on, I might change back into the floating line, but I'm definitely going to give this a try. I haven't used this in a bit, and it is probably gusting. It's a steady 12, probably gusting to 20, um, probably 15 average. Um, definitely doable. The right angle, some corners a little tougher than others, um, obviously. So I'm going to get where we can get. Lay some flies out, we'll talk about that when I'm throwing, and uh, maybe we'll get something, but uh, we'll see. So just uh, getting geared up here. So. Certainly not the best wind today, but it's definitely fishable. So I'm using a sinking line, kind of in the face and uh, over here there's a bunch of sand fleas wishing around Flounder. I know there's bigger ones. And I am fishing through with a half half uh, pink Charisse. It's about four or five inches medium and it seems to be doing the job so I'm going to fish with this a little bit and I have a few more things I might want to try but we'll see oh this guy is feels a bit big robin And I'm just fishing low, slow, right now. Uh, the fish, apparently, the water's lower, so they all range in. But I've had, had that little guy took close in. But I'm working a little bit of water, fairly close, and just letting the line sink, and just working that half-half clouser minnow right along the bottom, um, just above it. Uh, that's what I've been doing. Trying to cover water, just walking it. When it gets close in, I'll 
take a good look and whatnot, but... Oh wow, that's a nice one. Wow, that's a keeper. interesting note, um, there's a bit more about hooks than barbs, no barbs, J-hooks, circles. Um, this is actually a barbless hook. I crushed the barb. That's why that fish came off here. Really should be using a barb to keep those fish on until we get them off and off the rocks. But the color that I'm using now um, it just happens to be barbless. Uh, I do have barbless hooks. I like barbless hooks. Um, but when you're fishing around like crevices and rocks, sometimes it's best to have a barb on there so you can get that fish up and out safely and on its own. So just a little side note about hooks is that there's more to it than, you know, barbless or better than no barbs. In this situation, a barb would be better for sure.